We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313. I'm Bill Hurst, and this is Mike Lewis of Lewis Wholesale Nursery. He's also on Route 313, and he's going to give our guys a demonstration on how to trim a blue spruce. How you doing, folks? Uh, today we're going to do a little uh, blue spruce pruning. Now, if you watched our white pine video, you'll notice on the white pine that usually the pines are a lot fuller. That's just how they grow. On a, on a blue spruce, a Norway spruce, you're not going to have as much uh, tips to cut off. So what you want to do, particularly on a tree like this, is just carefully tip it back. If you see on, on the whorls of this year's growth against my body, there's four or five, if you want to call them fingers, what you want to do is really just tip back the longest one and work your way around the tree. Just trying to keep everything even. And it's the same with the pine trees. If you tip them back now, if you shear them back, you're going to get a lot more bud set than if you just let them go. More buds mean more bushiness. Okay, this is June 11th, and the reason we're doing it now is the new growth is not fully set. And when we trim it back a little bit, a new bud growth will occur. That's correct. And we'll get a lot more bud growth. Same way on your tops, you want to make sure that when you cut these lateral branches, that you at least see where one or two buds are formed. After we make the cut, they're probably going to form more buds, but just to be sure, you just look for a little brown spot in there. That's usually where a bud's at. And you cut that back. Here we're going to take off about half. Otherwise, we're going to end up with too much space between our branching. And the same thing in the pine trees. We're going to get a lot more bud formation on the top. And these buds here are going to develop more fully. And we're going to end up with a nice, bushier plant. There you go. That's all it takes. Okay. Mike, on this tree, we have some, some uh, coolie spruce gall aphid. Yes. Do you want to explain about that? Okay, that's an insect that's hatched. The legs are in the, laid in the fall. They winter over on the plant, and you'll get this little tuft of, of fuzzy growth. Uh, it almost looks like by the time it matures as a pine cone. You just need to spray that in the fall with malathion, orthene. Uh, if you're not sure what area you're in, just contact your local extension service. Um, look for pine or spruce gall. Um, it doesn't it doesn't actually harm the tree that much, no. but it just makes it look a little unsightly. And a lot of people just mistake them for cones, right? Like a pine cone or a spruce cone on there. Okay, well, thank you very much, Mike. And now the guys can get to work, and we only have a couple thousand trees to trim this afternoon, right, so, so it won't take them long. Won't take them long. Thank you. Bye bye. This is just a little walking tour of some of the trees and shrubs that we have in our yard that you can come and look at on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. We have thousands of trees, plants in 15651-8329. We have hundreds of acres here in Fountainville, PA, and also in Milan, PA. We have about 2,000 acres that we're growing trees and shrubs on. And we grow a wide range of, of plants for you. So just give us a call, 215 six five one eight three two nine we do deliveries all up and down the east coast these are 12 to 14 foot niagara arborvitas and you can see they're nice and full just give us a call if you want some real big niagara arborvitas call us at 215-651-8329 thank you and these are hens and chicks and you can take these little hens and chicks and you can just break them out of these things here carefully dig them out and just reach reach in and just stuff them into the wall a little bit and they'll cascade out of the wall and they'll actually have a flower on them in the in the summer we're here at highland hill farm on route 313 and this is an old stone wall that's part of our barn and uh, barn area and you can see we have an old barn this is a barn was made in 1819 and on this on this rock wall we have a bunch of plants that are called sedums and sedums can can cascade over a wall and reroute inside the wall of the of a dry laid stone wall. An interesting plant for a wall because instead of just having a stone wall, you can have greenery on the wall as well. It almost looks like it's water cascading off of the wall. We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville. We have a lot of plants for unusual. These are three to four foot green giants in a number three pot at Highland Hill Farm. These are five to six and four to fives. Green Giant Arborvitae. We've got plenty of them here. Just give us a call, 215-651-8329. These are our 36-inch emerald greens, real nice full plants in a number five pot. 
These are on sale in fall of 2009. These are Thuja Placata Zabrina on sale fall of 2009. Nice little plant, nice little plant for on a lock rock wall. So uh, if you need any help in doing your plantings, give us a call at 21.